Good morning, stampers. It's Elizabeth from StampScrapforMore.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Canada. And thank you for joining me today. I know it's going to be a good day when I can stamp and in the background on the TV, I'm watching Elvis. So right now it's GI Blues, but I'm going to rotate through all of my Elvis movies and uh, just stamp all day. It's a great day. Those are my, those are my favorite days. So today I'm going to bring to you a card that I presented a few weekends ago at uh, something that I do quarterly with, I think there's 15 uh, Stampin' Up! leaders in Canada. We gather together with all of our teams and do a day of creativity. And the theme this quarter was case yourself, trying to give our teams ideas of where to get inspiration. And sometimes it's right at your fingertips. So um, we all took projects that we'd made in the past and recreated them using brand new Stampin' Up! product. So the I'm going to be playing with the driving by stamp set and I'm going to be using um, this car with Aw Thanks. And I'm going to recreate that a card that I made in a class maybe five, six, seven years ago. But I loved it so I held on to it for a reason and the reason was so I could recreate it. So I'm going to do that with you today. So let's get started. So this is the card we're going to be making. I don't even know what it's called. A cube card? A cube pop-up? So we're gonna, I'm going to be creating this with you today. have to change it up just a wee bit because this designer series paper, which I love for this stamp set because I, it just has the retro vibe. Uh, I don't have any more of it left. So I'm going to be using Friendly Hello designer series paper, uh, which is another celebration item. I think that's what it's called, Friendly Hello. Okay, so grab a pen and paper and I'm going to give you some measurements. So I am using Fresh Freesia, and I have such a hard time saying that, Fresh Freesia. And this is five and a half by eight and a half, and it is scored at two and one eighths, four and a quarter, and six and three eighths. I also need another piece of Fresh Freesia, which I've got a bend here, but you won't notice it when I put the card together. Another piece of Fresh Freesia, that is five and a half by one, and it is scored at one inch down, um, sorry, half inch, scored at half inch down the middle. All right, so, and we need four pieces, do I have four pieces? Yes, of basic white, and these are going to be five and a quarter by one and seven eighths. We need three pieces of designer series paper of your choice. And this is where I've switched it up to the, using the fresh freesia. Um, I, I laugh every time I say it because I, 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 I don't know, I slur the words fresh freesia. It's really hard. Um, sorry, three pieces of the designer series paper. That's five and uh, five inches by one and five inch. Sorry, let me repeat that. Five inches by one and five eighths of an inch. I'm going to bring out the layering, uh, sorry, the uh, Hippo and Friends dies. And in the largest die, this one here, I'm die cutting out that in Fresh Freesia. And then in the next one down, I'm going to die cut that one out in the basic white. And you also need two pieces of the Fresh Freesia and um, they're the one inch layering circle dies. Okay, so how about we do some stamping and coloring and then we will assemble the card. So I'm gonna be using black memento ink and a whole bunch of blends. Uh, Smoky Slate, Calypso Coral, Highland Heather. I, just, I also, not Highland Heather, sorry, the Fresh Freesia. I also brought out the Highland Heather just in case I need it for a little bit of dark. Uh, they're very close in color, so you can actually combine the two, the two colors and get some uh, nice effects. Uh, Daffodil Delight, uh, Real Red, and my Light Soft, uh, soft Sea Foam, and my light, my light Petal Pink. All right, so let's stamp the car. The vehicle first and get stamping, get stamping and coloring. So I, I said this in a previous video and I haven't done it yet, but my, my memento blocks really do need to be re-inked. So I'm really kind of overkilling rubbing it in there because they need to be re-inked. 
and there we go. Oh, and I need the oh, and what we're going to do also. Uh, am I going to do that first, or maybe I'll do that back? On the back, we've got driving by, and we've got the balloons. And you know what? I'm going to do that now while I have the black memento open. And um, uh, so I've got one of the back, one of the white pieces, the basic white pieces, and I'm going to do driving by just to say hi. Like that. Oh, it would be nice if it was straight. Oh, let's flip that baby over. I might have to get my head in the in the shot here, so give me one second. Do you see my roots? That's better. Okay, so now I want the balloons. I'm going to clean that off. So uh, because I've just used it, I'm going to clean it off on my chamois. And I'm also going to dry it here because I don't want any shadows. Okay, and now I'm going to take my post-it note. I need a bigger post-it note than that. I love my post-it notes. Okay, so now I'm just going to cover the car with the post-it notes because I don't want that car. So I just want the balloons. I'm gonna burnish that in there so it's the sticky, the sticky side, sticky side that is uh, on the on the car. And now I'm gonna ink up just the balloons. And the, here's the thing you gotta do: you gotta take off that and you've gotta throw it in the garbage because if you don't and you're like me, you'll be wearing it. And now I'm just going to place that over and could have placed it down a little bit a little bit lower, but um, you get the gist. Okay. Okay, so now let's get back to the vehicle and do some coloring. Oh, one other thing. Sorry. I, I, one other thing because I want to be... Uh, I'm going to freehand... I'm going to color these, freehand them, and then pop them up on the car, on the balloons. So, so you know, since I've got all the balloons here, why don't we just color them all now? So I'm going to start, <clears throat> excuse me, with the yellow. Uh, I didn't bring it. The light. I have too dark. Okay. I talk to myself sometimes. And I'm going to start with the dark. I'm going to start with the dark. And just color each of the balloons. And then I'm going to blend that in with the light. And you know, you might be thinking, why did I, why am I coloring the balloon, the base of the balloon here, when I'm going to um, fussy cut it out and pop it up? Just in case you can see um, the balloon underneath the pop-up, just in case the pop-up happens to fall off. I just don't want, I want it to be finished. And now I'm going to take the Calypso Coral and I'm going to do the same thing. And the reason I use the Calypso Coral is because it's one of the colors that is in the Pansy Petals Designer Series paper, but, uh, and I ended up liking it. So you can, of course, use whatever color you, you want. Actually, I have to turn to do the bullet in because my Calypso Coral, I need to replace it. And it's, uh, the brush end isn't great. I use my blends a lot. If I were, if you were to ask me what's my favorite thing to do with, with regards to stamping, or the creative aspect of it, is coloring. Any kind of coloring. Any kind of coloring, and I'm happy. I'm not saying I'm good at it, but I like, I like coloring. And now we've got the uh, dark real red and the light real red. And we're going to do the same thing here. Yesterday I spent the whole day, actually it was eight hours, attending another, another demonstrator's workshop. It's a, built, uh, it's a business workshop and creative um, event. 
And uh, wow, what a, what a great day. Sometimes, you know, as a demonstrator, you just need to join in and uh, stamp for the sake of stamping and learning and for your own benefit, not necessarily for teaching or uh, doing videos, etc. However, having said that, we did play with, um, what did we play with? We played with the rainbow, what's it called? The rainbow happiness set. And we made three really cute cards. So I will be uh, doing videos on the three cards. And during the event, there was also a creative challenge. So uh, she, uh, we would get uh, inspiration, either color, an image, or a card sketch. And we would um, recreate it using any stamp, any current stamp set that we had. So it was a good, it was a good day and great speakers. Um, let me just continue coloring and talking if I can. Now I'm going to color the wheels. And I think I've said this before, um, the bit, you can actually use the black. I found the black to be a little, little too stark for my liking. So I'm using the, the smoky slate and I'm going to start off with the tires. And this is in the dark smoky slate. Um, yeah, she had some really great speakers. She had um, two art, well, uh, um, artisan design member from that uh, for two years. She's not this year uh, from New South Wales, and she had um, a guy from oh my God, Stone Martin Stone is that his name from UK. He was very they were they were very good, and um, of course, and Robin Carden also spoke and. Uh, and Allison spoke as well. So it was a great event. Um, can't wait till the next one. I have to make sure I can block my time off and so I can enjoy and participate in these events. The last one I, I joined in, it was near a convention and it was on a weekday. And while I signed up for it, I couldn't really join in or participate because uh, I worked during the day. And so I really missed out on, so this time I made sure it was on a weekend that I could join in anyhow okay so that's the car and now or sorry the tires and now we're going to do the fresh freesia light no it's Highland Heather that's dark fresh freesia like I said they are very close and that's light they're very close in color and I'm going to outline the car in the dark like that. And now color in. It's a light, the brush end. I'm just going to color in with the light. The other thing I did, uh, have, have you ever used fiber before? So I wanted to redo my um, logo, my watermark, etc. And so I found a woman on Fiverr and um, I really liked her work. So she's working on something for me. Actually, uh, she's done a really great job. And over the last couple of days, like I would say, she gave me three outlines or three logos. And uh, I used the logos in different scenarios and uh, picked the one that I wanted and sent it off to her. And I said, okay, so I, I tried to watermark it. And when there were some things I didn't like, because uh, some of the image uh, disappeared in the watermark. So she's working on it now. So maybe if I get it back in time, I will add it to this video. So you'll see the watermark. Anyhow, so that's the vehicle. Now, why do I have the light petal pink? Because I'm going to uh, just scribble under the windshield. Uh, I want it to give the windshield a little bit of color. Uh, it, obviously, the windshield doesn't have color, but I wanted it to stand out just a little bit. And then I'm going to take my light sea foam, which you've seen me use before, and I am going to underline the car. Oops, I got another one that I use a lot, and the brush end is going. Uh, I'm going to outline the car, just at the undercarriage of it. And then the other thing I'm going to do, which I didn't do on this one here, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to ground the car even further. And then I'm going to take my light smoky slate like that. Okay. Oh, I forgot to do the ah, thanks. Okay. So there is my car. There's my balloons. There's my just driving by and I need my ah, thanks. 
and I'm going to, we all have these strips of, of paper in our drawer. I save, I save them, use them for this type of thing. So I'm going to do ah thanks, and then I'm going to have to freehand it the rest of the way. So give me one second while I try and get this somewhat straight. Oh my gosh, Elizabeth, that's so not straight. There we go, that's better. Okay, and I need a skizzers. And I'm going to cut this down like that. Ah, I like that. I like that sentiment. Ah, thanks. And I'm going to freehand this all across. It's not very straight, Elizabeth. That's what makes it a handmade card. And then I'm going to snip down like that again. <laughs> you think I was drunk? That'll do. That'll be perfect. That's going to do. And now here's, this is like um, watching paint dry, folks. Okay. Let me do this really quick. And yes, I'm cutting each one of them. Some people like to cut first and then color. And that way, if you uh, have any white showing, they can color over the white. Totally up to you. But if I have white showing, I'll just take the uh, yellow or the blue or the green, yellow or the red or the clips of coral and just color the edges. I say this all the time. It's the little detail that, that makes it uh, worthwhile. That makes the card kind of pop. And one more. I did get a supply, <clears throat> excuse me, a Stampin' Up! product on the weekend. On Friday night, I should say. And one of the items I got is a kit. It's not in the catalog. It was one of the special release kits. And so that's going to be my next video because it's cute. But I have to make sure that it's still available before I do the video because in some markets it sold out. Okay, so this is the card. So let's get assembling. My bone folder. Uh, here we go. Okay, so now I'm going to burnish all of these folds. I'd love to see your creation. And uh, you can follow my Facebook page at uh, Stamp Scrap and More. And uh, I'll put a thread up uh, if anyone's interested. Uh, with my creation and then just say post yours underneath and I'd love to see what you create. Okay, so now I've got this is I'm going to call this a hinge and it is basically going to go like that and then it's going to be hinged on that side as well. So I'm going to use my Tombow glue for this just because you know it gives a, a wee bit of wiggle room. Come on Tombow. You know I do this all the time, right? I keep thinking, I've got to prime them, and then I'll find one that doesn't need to be primed. Like how many how many Tombow glues do, do you have on the go? <laughs> there we go. I knew there was one that uh, just keeps working, but the other two I have to I have to prime them. And by prime, I just mean po poke a put a pin in it just to unplug it. And now. So I'm just adding that to the edge like that. And because, because it is, uh, um, needs to cure a little bit, once you get it where you want it, make sure you hold it so that it doesn't slide out of, out of position. It doesn't take long to cure, but just so it doesn't slide away on you. And now if things were done right, you should be able to do that. So you should be able to fold that one onto that one and ma it matches up perfectly. I love my Tombow glue, I, but I need to make sure I have like baby wipe or something beside me because it gets, gets on my fingers all the time. I used to have to have a customer every time 
I brought out the Tombow glue. Oh my gosh, she hated it. Um, and she wouldn't use it, but um, because she got it, she would get it all over it. And I do too, but I just clean off my, it's what the baby wipes are for. All right, so there is the card. So I'm going to put, you, you figure out which side you want because basically that's the back. So I'm going to put the card card here. So I want, I've got an itchy eye. Okay, so now I'm going to layer these. And I'm not going to use the Tombow glue for that. I'm going to layer one on top of another. So the designer series paper will go on top. Of each pan of the basic white except for the back one where you've stamped the sentiment and you can see this card this card how it comes together and I love it because it's a little bit different it, it's not a new design I didn't create it or anything um, but I love it because it's just a little bit different uh, but folds flat Yep, you think I was drinking today. <laughs> and it's too early in the morning. I was, uh, maybe coffee, maybe I need another coffee. I find on the Sundays I drink uh, maybe too much coffee. And uh, Sunday nights I'm just tossing. So maybe I won't do that today. Okay, so I'm going to put this one here like that. And then and so come Monday when I go to work, I'm just dragging my butt uh, like that. Oops. I'm just going to wiggle it up a little bit more. Oops. There we go. And put the other one. I do like the pansy petal. I prefer that. But I wanted to use fresh freesia. And I wanted to use the friendly, um, a, a designer series paper that is not going to be around a long time, which is this, because it's going to retire. Well, the end of celebration, it's no longer available. And uh, I don't want to be left with any. That's my goal to share. And now I'm going to add this one here, is to use up all of my designer series paper. Ha ha ha. I know. I know there's a few of us out there with that same goal. Now you're going to watch me struggle because I do this all the time. Okay, I'm going to, this one goes down there like that. Yay, look at that. You can teach an old dog new tricks. I always struggle with uh, loading them. Okay, and then this one's going to go here. I try to keep them on the same level. So that they, they're even, um, when you're looking at the card, they're, everything's on the same level. Um, and then on the back side here, we're just going to adhere that to there. So the Super Team, team event we had, uh, we have creative challenges. So the person that won my creative challenge I'm going to send her her gift in the mail today, and I'm going to actually include this card. Okay, so there is the mechanism. This is where we're going to put the uh, hinge now, and it's another hinge. So now I've got these two circles, the one inch circles. You can uh, use the uh, score, scorer to uh, score, fold them in half, but I find if you don't get it right in the center, they're not even. And in my, in my brain, things have to be even. So I'm just doing them freehand, scoring them so that they're, they're uh, a nice even circle on both, like they match, the edges match. Okay. All right, now I have to remember how to do this. Okay, so you're gonna put two together. You're gonna hold them with your thumb like that. And then you're going to have this in the middle. And what you're going to do is you're going to put uh, 
Tombow glue on it. And you're going to lay it. What's the easiest way to do it? I'm going to lay it like that. So I've got one side done. And now I'm going to flip the other side over. And now I've got them in the on the score line of the card like that. I also have a little bit of glue there. Not perfectly. That's why you Tombow glue so that you can make sure that you wiggle them into the spot. And there we go. So you've got this sort of hinge thing. And now we are going to mount this. It's going to, oh no, let's do this one first. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, liquid glue on these on this side. And we're going to add this. You know, a few years ago, Stampin' Up! used to have sanding blocks. I wish they had brought them back because sometimes they get like edges. I actually do have one of the sanding blocks. With sanding blocks, um, I just got an edge here and I don't like. And now I'm going to add this to here. And then just making sure that I've got the left and right side even because we don't want it to go over the edges. So when you're doing this, if you can use any layering type dies that you have, just make sure it doesn't go over the edge. Okay. And there is the, there it is. Now I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals. And we're almost done. Just a couple of little touches to add and to finish the card off. And then we're done. And you know Elvis Elvis is still singing on the on the TV. Tell me, is anyone else an Elvis fan? Love Elvis. You know these um questions that you get, like if you could have uh dinner with someone or meet someone famous that's no longer alive, who would it be? Elvis would be mine. And now I'm going to pop using little dimensionals. I'm going to pop up each of those balloons. And you're going to break out your Wink Costello folks because those balloons need a little bit of shimmer. Calypso coral. And whoops, Daffodil Delight. And real red. This one I've, it's kind of small. It's a small balloon. So I need to trim some of that dimensional off. I'd shown this trick bef tip before. I'm not sure who I, if I showed it to you guys. If you've got small dimensionals and you don't want um, the white to show, to show, just color it like that with um, your blend. And that way it will not be as obvious. I'm not going to do it, but to give you an idea. Oops. There we go. Really poor job of fussy cutting. And now the ah uh, thanks like that. One, two, I'm putting three on there so it doesn't sag. Uh, thanks. And you're going to break, like I said, break out the wink of Stella. And you're also going to break out your fine tip glue. And so this time I'm just going to cover, color in the balloons. And I'm going to do the back ones as well. You know, on the camera, you won't even tell that I've done this, but I know it's there and the recipient will know it's there. And then the last thing, but you know, before I do one more thing, I'm just going to take this and I should have done this ahead of time and color the outside of that balloon of each of them because I didn't do a very good job of fussy cutting. 
I'm just covering up the whites, the whites of their eyes. There we go. That makes me happy. And now bring out the fine tip glue and we're just going to add a little bit of fine tip glue to the windshield. And I'm going to do the hubcaps. I say this all the time and you're probably tired of it. It to me it's all about those little added details that just make a card pop. And oops. Okay, and there's the card. And it pops sits like that. This one's a little askew. There we go, sits like that. And on the back we have driving by to say hi. So if you make this card, post it on uh, the Stamp Scrap and More Facebook page and I'm going to uh, share this on that page and uh, I'd love to see your creativity. Just uh, add it to the same thread as this one. Um, and that's me and that is my first card, that my first video I'm going to do today. I'm going to uh, record a whole bunch uh, so that they can go up over the next few days. Have a good one. Happy stamping and we'll t talk to you later. Take care.